for calling Valtech. This is Liz speaking. How can I help you? All right, well, if you could just read me the product code, I can redirect you to the appropriate department. Thank you for calling Valtech. This is Liz speaking. How can I help you? I'm sorry to hear that. Did you purchase the extended warranty? Thank you for calling Valtech. This is Liz speaking. How can I help you? Please, uh, if you could slow down, I didn't catch that. Uh, no, no, Valtech, we sell computers. Trick or treat? What's the matter? A cat got your tongue? S sorry, I just can't believe you're really here. Crazy, right? Well, can I come in or what? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, not bad. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. Yeah, the job sucks, but the money's okay. Oh, uh, you still at that computer company? What was it called again? Value something? Valtech. And yes, what's in the bag? Uh, you really think I would come all this way and forget to bring my best friend a souvenir? Oh, no, you didn't have to do that. This is the best tequila in all of Mexico. Or anywhere else, for that matter. Where are your shot glasses? I don't have any. Interesting. I guess we'll have to improvise. Uh, I really shouldn't. It's a work night. And your point is? I have to be up at six. <laughs> That's not the Liz I know. It's been a long time since high school. Missing work isn't the same as blowing off math class. Come on. You're not gonna make me drink alone, are you? All right, but... Let's not go overboard. Me? Overboard? Get real. Wow. That's crazy. Just like that and it's over. I lose my shit. Yeah, trust me, I was not a happy camp. So where did you go after that? Everywhere. Haiti, Japan, Switzerland, France. You name it. Let me top you off. How do you do it? I imagine it must be pretty expensive. Not at all. I take odd jobs, doing a little of this or that until I save enough to get my next plane ticket. You meet so many people and see such incredible sights. I'm amazed that anyone would want to live any other way. Some people go through their entire lives without experiencing even a fraction of what I have in just a few years. You're looking at her. That's me. A total bore. No, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, look at this place. You're really making your way. Yeah, but 
every day is the same. It's not like it used to be. Sometimes I just stare at the wall thinking about how much fun I used to have. All those parties, late night hangouts. Hell, I even miss the drama. Maybe you just need more tequila in your life. <laughs> or I've had too much already. Sorry, I didn't mean to spill my guts out. So, what are you doing back in town? Surely you didn't come all this way just to see me. Well, that's a big part of it, actually. But no, there is something else. Do you still keep in touch with anyone from high school? I should, but I don't. I keep wanting to reach out, but I'm always afraid it'll feel forced or awkward. We're different people now. Okay, Miss Melodrama. I was just trying to answer your question. A simple no would have been fine. I was leading up to something. What's that? A list. What kind of list? Do you know what day it is? October 30th. Why? Devil's Night. I don't know about you, but I remember things very clearly. Both the good times and the bad. Most of all, I remember my enemies. I keep thinking they got off too easy. But just once. They should get a taste of the torment they put me through. <laughs> I'm not talking about anything crazy here, just a little bit of mischief. That's what tonight's all about, right? So, you came back to town just to play tricks on people? Isn't that a little petty? They weren't as hard on you. It's not your fault, but just know that I took the brunt of it. Gossip, ridicule, oh lord, the nicknames? Trish the Fish. That's what they called me, do you remember that? I do. They deserve it, don't they? Like I said, they're different people now. I know, I know, but come on. I'm sure you must be holding on to a couple old grudges. We both went through it. You can't tell me you never thought of getting a little revenge. Water under the bridge. I'm past all that. Well, muddy da. I'm sorry, I wasn't it, trying to condescend. It's fine, I'm just messing with you. But seriously, you should come with It's bad enough I'm drinking. I can't go around playing tricks all night. You just finished telling me you never do anything. If I'm being honest, it sounds like you need this more than I do. Ah, oh, there it is. You know I'm right. No, I didn't say that. Take a chance. Live a little. Does that mean you're in? Yeah, you're in. Impressed? You should be. We've got four cartons of eggs, 48 rolls of toilet paper, eight bars of soap, a paper bag filled with 100% authentic dog shit, six cans of silly string, and of course, a pair of scary Halloween masks. Am I missing anything? No, I think you covered all the bases. Damn straight. Oh, and... not too late to change your mind. No, you're right. This will be good for me. We are gonna have so much fun. <laughs> so who's first? Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, what was the question again? Who's first? On the list, I mean. Susan Cadwell. Remember her? 
Isn't she a cheerleader? Gina's friend, right? Yes, and the one who started the infamous Trish the Fish chant. Bitch thought she was so clever because it rhymes, see? And because you brought tuna for lunch like every day. Shit, guess I missed that. Oh well, doesn't change anything. We're still gonna egg the fuck out of her place. <laughs> Lights are off. Doesn't look like she's home. Even better. Eggs aren't so bad if you wash them off right away. But if they sit around for a while and start to stink, whew, then you've got a problem. Uh, so what, six each? For Susan Cadwell? No, ma'am. I say... We give her everything we got. Come on, Liz. Let her rip. <laughs> that a girl. Keep them coming. Make sure you hit every window. Try to get a couple on the roof while you're at it. Just getting started. Who's next? Who's next? Mr. Bennett. Mm. The math teacher. <laughs> Screw that guy. He always gave the hardest tests. It was like he wanted his students to fail. A total asshole. I'm glad you feel that way. And trust me, it only gets better from here. How's it going? Getting there. Just a few names left. Who? Becky Taylor, for one. I guess I should have seen this coming. I've got something real special planned for her. Like what? We are gonna scare the shit out of her. Here. A robe and spooky mask. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna hold her down, 
and you are gonna stab her with this. <laughs> I don't know if this is such a good idea. What if we get caught? Damn it, Liz. Don't get cold feet on me. Not now. I was fine with the eggs and the toilet paper, but this, this is different. Do you remember what Becky did to me? I do. Then you know she has it coming. I thought best friends were supposed to support each other. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I know, like, totally. Dude was practically asking to get his ass kicked, talking all that shit, am I right? I know, I know, I'm not stupid. I'm just saying, you don't go over to somebody's house making all these crazy demands and not expect someone to roll up on a bitch. Hold on. Somebody's at the door. It's probably just Pete. I'll call you back. She's coming. Put your mask on. Hey, don't forget the knife. Are you there? Come on, this isn't funny. Wish me luck. You can come out at any time. the shit out of me. <laughs> okay, enough with the freako bullshit. You got me, all right? <sighs> hey, the, the door's open. You can take whatever you want. Okay, just don't Take it easy. No, no. The knife was a fake. You, you told me this was a joke. Calm down. I can explain. You did this. You tricked me. Shh, it's okay. <gasps> Everything's going to be just fine. going. You think you're innocent, but you're not. Trust me, Becky. This was a long time coming. Do you remember me? Maybe next time you'll think twice before sleeping around. It wasn't just between you and Steve. It affected me too. And it ruined everything. Everything. <laughs> what the hell am I saying next time? As if. Have a nice night.
That's great. Hey, sorry about the gag. And the rope. And choking you, I guess. But it's not like you gave me much of a choice. You know, I may be crazy, but I thought maybe, just maybe, you would understand. Believe me when I tell you, this isn't the way things were supposed to go. No, ma'am. I wanted you right there by my side. Oh well, I guess that's life. Don't worry. We're almost done. This is Steve Howard's place. As you know, we used to be an item. Those were the best four months of my life. If you had asked me then, I would have told you that I loved him. Maybe I still do. But unfortunately, it takes two to tango. We can't stab Becky and then let him off scot-free, can we? <laughs> No, I didn't think so. Don't worry. No elaborate tricks this time. I'm just gonna go in there and get it over with. It's what he would have done. It's what he did do. Sit tight. I'll be right back. find something to break the glass. Nice try. <laughs> no, seriously, it almost worked. Too bad you couldn't talk. <laughs> Would you look at that? Only one name left. Don't look so surprised. Let's go for a little drive, shall we? Home 
home sweet home. Remember this place? We used to hang out here all the time. I mean, before you stopped talking to me. Before you moved on with your life. sense about me traveling the world, did you? <laughs> I mean, seriously, who's got the money for all that shit? No. I've been here the whole time. It's been a lonely existence. But, in my solitude, I've had plenty of time to plan. That's what tonight was. Culmination. Years of bitterness building to its natural climax. You'll see. It's gonna be great. probably think I'm crazy, that I've lost my mind, but you know, I'm just trying to cope. You said we're different people now, but that's not quite true, is it? I'm still exactly where I was 10 years ago. Still the same loser, the same problems. Day in and day out, struggling to move on, but never quite making it. It's pathetic, I know. A real sob story. But you know, I think I've come to accept it. I like to think everyone's getting what they deserve. And I'm being pretty fair, all things considered. I know you're a good person, Liz. And I don't think you meant to cut me off. You were just preoccupied doing everything the world expected of you. And somewhere along the way, you let go. That's not a crime. I'm certainly not gonna kill you for that. <laughs> no. What matters now is that it never happens again. I just want you to remember me, Liz. Can you do that?
Wow.